the recovery after ptosis surgery is fairly minimal and the good thing is there are some things that you can do to assist in your own recovery. If you just recover, it's typically four to seven days. If you kind of sit upright in a chair, if you use ice for swelling, if you put ointment in your eyes so they don't get irritated, if you do those kinds of things and you can really minimize it to two to even four days if you're only having ptosis surgery. Ptosis swelling is highly dependent on gravity. I like to say that when we go to sleep at night, gravity stays awake. So if your head is above your heart, you have better venous return and you have less swelling. A lot of people don't like to sleep with their head elevated, but I tell many of my clients that are uh, on film, fashion models and things, even if they haven't had surgery, to sleep in a recliner the night before they do their photo shoot because it takes all the swelling out of their face. That's the secret to minimizing swelling after ptosis surgery. There aren't very many things that you cannot do after ptosis surgery, but one of the main ones is you cannot wear your contact lenses until you have healed. And that's typically about a week. It might even be two weeks. So usually what I have people do after a week, I have them try their contact lenses for an hour or two and not wear them all day. And they have to use their own tolerance to see how they do. The other things that are important is when you close your eyes, you can close them all the way, but when you relax, they might open a little bit. So it's very important when you're sleeping to put some ophthalmic lubrication right on the front of your eye, right on the cornea, which is analogous to the crystal on your watch, so your eyes do not get dry while you're sleeping. If they get dry while you're sleeping, you might get a corneal abrasion, and it's hard to play catch up with a corneal abrasion. Please make sure to subscribe. Ptosis recovery is completely painless if, and there's a big if, you have to keep your eye lubricated. There are more sensory nerves per unit area in the front of the eye than anywhere else on the body. That's the reason when you get an eyelash in your eye, it feels like a tree branch because there's so many sensory nerves. So as long as you keep it moist, it doesn't get dry and irritated and you don't get a secondary abrasion, it's completely painless. The fastest way to recover after ptosis surgery is to prepare for the surgery, things that you do right after, and the best thing to do is use ice during that recovery. If you take certain medications, which we'll review with you, then you minimize the swelling, and then if you do have swelling, you control the swelling. And that's the best way to minimize overall swelling. We recommend people sit up after ptosis surgery because we're trying to minimize the amount of swelling that's coming to the eyelids after the person has had surgery. So for three days, we have a person raise their head above their heart and use ice. And the ice helps everything constrict to minimize the swelling. After three days, we want you to lie down and we want you to use heat or nothing at all, but most importantly, no more ice because the swelling is now there and we want it to go away. If we use ice after swelling is there, it's going to keep the swelling. So ice and elevation, three days. After three days, flat and heat.